the remote mountainous regions in Death Stranding can make delivery missions hard and painful, as the mountain outposts are not connected to any highways at all. To that end, you can use zip lines. To make a joke out of these mountains, you can construct them using level 2 PCCs on any chiral network connected area, and make a string of them to bring you from point A to B even faster than a highway on the plains of the game. On top of them making mountain traveling easier, they allow you to move past BT territory without confrontation, and without triggering that annoying and skippable cutscene. To set them up however, you will have to make one normal journey to your desired zipline network destination, but the rewards heavily outweigh the time spent doing this. The requirements for making a PCC level 2 are just some chiral crystals, resins and metal. Make about 5 of them every time you plan to expand your zipline network to another area, as carrying more of them has the risk of them being destroyed by the time fall before you can put them to use. After you get your PCCs, begin by planting the first one just next to the boundaries of the outpost, to save time every time you land there. After that, begin stringing your zipline chain, by planting them on the highest point leading to your destination so the next and previous zipline can see the other, otherwise they won't be able to connect. Repeat this process until you reach your destination. And just like that, you have made travel on the mountains faster than traveling on the plains. However, there are limitations. There is a resource on the game called bandwidth. Bandwidth is used every time you plant a structure like the zipline. When the bandwidth runs out, you can't plant anymore. To that end, you can delete unwanted structures to save bandwidth, even from the game's map, or level up your connection with bases and outposts to expand it. Also, timefall will slowly rust away your zipline so you must keep spending resources to maintain them, or any other good Samaritan from your server, but you can also level up your individual ziplines to help counteract this. A level 2 zipline is easy to upgrade, requiring just 240 chemicals and 480 special alloys. Level 2 ziplines grant a boost of 50 meters range, bringing them up from to 300 to 350. They also allow you to customize them with holograms and music, a level 3 zipline is harder to get though, as it requires 300 chiral crystals and 1440 chemicals and special alloys each, which is resource intensive. However doing so doubles up the durability of the zipline, so you will have to maintain it less often. Pro tip, certain outposts reward you certain resources as a reward for deliveries. For example, the spiritualist rewards you with 600 chemicals for every delivery, helping you level up the zipline. Other outposts may reward you with the other materials needed for the upgrades, but I have yet to discover them. It is important that you only build the zipline network on the mountain regions, as the rest of the map is relatively flat and easy to traverse with a vehicle, especially if the highways are developed, but we will discuss about them on the next episode. Building up the whole map with ziplines will inevitably make you run out of bandwidth and will make maintenance a nightmare. We just got from the Robotologist to the Distro Center north of Mountain Knot City in just 3 minutes using the zip lines, covering a total of 2,5 kilometers in distance. The zip line network is nice and fun to use, but it is kind of reserved for post-ending play, as only then will you be able to have the liberty of time and resources to focus on building it. And this is just how it's done. Find the highest point next to your previous zip line, where they can see each other, and plant it down. Remember, the range is 300 meters, so place a marker on your previous zipline, so you can keep track of it in case you try to plant it too close or too far. That about does it, have fun.